hi guys so i'm back and i know i've been gone for a while but i'm back with another video hopefully i'm going to upload more regularly at least one video a week is my goal um today i'm going to show you how to slick back your hair like so i know it's a struggle with natural hair especially when you get into that fourth fifth seventh day hair and you just need it out of your face and you need something to do until wash day comes and this is the style i usually go for or it's in a bun um, I'll show you two ways of how to do this. Um, the first way is a beginner friendly um, alternative to learn how to manipulate hair going back into the pony cell. And then the second way is the way I generally do it because I'm used to doing it now. And it's not as hard to put all this hair into a pony cell. Um, yeah, so if you want to learn how I slip back my hair, go ahead and just keep on watching. So first, um, you're going to need a spray bottle, preferably with warm water. Cold water kind of makes it hard to work with your hair. Next, a leave-in of your choice. Mine happens to be the Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Castor Oil leave-in. And a styler of your choice, which I happen to have Equal Styler Gel. And a boar bristle brush. A rat tail comb to part your hair with. A toothbrush, yes girl, a toothbrush to lay them edges. If you don't know, now you know. Some hair elastics. Or if you decide maybe you want to use your headband, you can just overlap them like such. Now I'm just applying water to my roots. I want my roots to be kind of damp, not necessarily like wet, just so it helps to, you know, manipulate the hair to go back. I'm just making sure everywhere it's wet. Next, I'm going to part my hair in the direction that I want it to go. I like middle parts because it seems like the most flattering style with a widow's peak. It's kind of off to the center, I don't know. It looks kind of funky on me. Now I'm gonna apply my leave-in um, in the whole parameter of where part of my hair in, in all the way inside like just get in it everywhere to make sure my hair is moisturized in this style then i want to pre-slick my hair to make sure just the little knots and stuff are kind of subdued <laughs> now i'm going to add the gel um you can add as much as you need this is just the start of me adding it to my edges um and now I'm going to smooth my hair. But first, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you how I do it, how I, how I used to do it for in high school when I was learning how to slick back my hair. I'm just gonna make a mock ponytail in the back at the area where I want my hair to lay. And then what you end up doing is you take the top half and you smooth it on top of that ponytail. So technically you have two ponytails, but it looks like one. But I'm just going to show you how I regularly do it, which is like this. I'm re-wetting my hair, and I'm going to slick it back to where I want it. Don't worry about laying your edges perfectly. That's what the toothbrush is for later. And I ended up using two elastics. It's usually how I, I do it as of lately. Um, regardless of whatever hair tie you use, whatever method, you probably will have a headache by the end of the day. Um, these st styles are really tight to your head, so just know that. Don't wear them for a prolonged period of time. Now I'm just adding some gel to help me lay the edges. Now I'm showing you up close of me trying to use a toothbrush to lay my so-called baby hairs. And you see me kind of struggling with my widow's peak as always. In a second, I'm going to show you guys, um, you can, if your hair doesn't lay, um, 
just like this with just applying using the toothbrush in it and if your hair doesn't want to like cooperate with you you can always use a scarf but i wouldn't recommend you know having the scarf on for more than 10 15 minutes because you don't want to walk around hair laid like you know jermaine jackson's sideburns so um be wary of that so here i am i'm just showing you that you could lay your hair with some a scarf but i chose not to and this is a finished product so i'm all done now thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned something new um if not um hope you at least enjoyed the enjoy the video if you want to see more content from me don't forget to subscribe comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see thanks for watching